Photoshop 2025 has just released and if you go to your Adobe, you can now download it and then you have the latest version of Photoshop. And as every year, when the new version is released, we're gonna go through all the new features to take a look at them. So when we go into Photoshop and let's go to the remove tool, which you can find here. And at the top, we can see we have find distractions. We have wires and cables and people. So what this can do is it can automatically remove wires and cables and also people. So in this photo, you can see we have a lot of wires. So let's click on wires and cables and it's gonna automatically remove that. Now here you can see the mode. I have mode generative AI is off. That means it's not gonna use generative AI to remove these wires, but we can select generative AI on. That way it's gonna use AI to remove these tools. And you can select auto that way Photoshop, it's gonna decide itself if it wants to use generative AI to remove it. Now you can see in this image, the wires and cables got removed pretty good. So that all looks fine. Even when we zoom in, we don't see weird stuff going on. It looks fine. Let's press Ctrl Z. And now let's go forward again. And that all looks fine. So this works pretty good. Now the next one is to remove people. And this one is a bit confusing because when I have a photo like this, for instance, and I click on people, it's gonna give me this warning. Couldn't find any people who are not the subject of the image. So Photoshop now decides who is the subject of my image, I guess. And in this photo, you can see these people are not subject of my photo. They are just walking there and let's try it out. So let's go to the remove tool again and let's keep the generative AI off for first. Find distractions, people. And I can see it made a selection of these people. And when I click on this one, I can remove them. Now the next feature is Adobe Firefly image model. It got a lot better apparently, and it creates really photorealistic results. Let's say here, like they say, when you use this, and when I use this one and write a frog, for instance, it looks pretty good. Although it has three eyes or maybe even four eyes here. This one looks better and uh, this one. So yeah, these close-up shots work really good. Now the next feature that is available is to generate background. So if you have a photo and you want to change the background, you can click on remove background first, and then you can click on generate background. And here you can write anything. Let's say I want to have it in a jungle. I will write it down there and it should generate this with AI. And here you can see it generated a background in a sort of a jungle. And although it looks more like it's just in some kind of a pool and with some jungle leaves around it, but you get the point here. Now, the next thing that is new, that is generative workspace. It's not available in Photoshop yet, but if you have the beta version, you have it. So you have to update the beta version of Photoshop. So when we go to edit, you can see here, we have generative workspace. And this is like a separate workspace inside Photoshop for generated fill. So here you can see, you can get some inspiration here. For instance, you click on one of these images and you can see that the prompt that was used, etc. And you can use the same prompt here. For instance, I want to generate this. I'll click on generate and it's going to use the same prompt to generate the same kind of image. And now you can see here we have this whole separate workspace where we can do everything with the image. We can use the prompt so we can reference style, we can download the image, etc. So that's it. Those are the new features. And actually, I'm a bit disappointed. It's not really something new. It's the same stuff. Usually we will get really cool new features every year, but this time it's kind of sucks to be honest. And I hope Adobe will step the game up and add some new cool features to the Photoshop, right? So thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more, make sure to check out my other videos. Until then, catch you on the next one.